Hello and welcome to Matalan Presents The Show with me, Denise Van Outen. It's officially the start of autumn. If you're sad to see the end of summer, let us cheer you up with top tips for your wardrobes and homes. Coming up, Love Island star Marcel Somerville and TV presenter Lisa Snowden talk summer loving and autumn style. Plus, model turned broadcaster Lila Parsons shares her tips for how to get the catwalk look at high street prices. And little changes for your home that will make a big difference. But first, let's talk stylish Saturdays and Sundays with Marcel Somerville and Lisa Snowden. Autumn's here and it's the perfect time to catch up with friends and family over weekend brunches, lunches, dinner and drinks. And make sure your wardrobe's weekend ready. Two stars are always on the go and bang up to date are Marcel Somerville and Lisa Snowden. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Now, Marcel, everybody was talking about Love Island all over the summer. How has your life changed since the show, since leaving the villa? It's been crazy. Like, there's, I've got loads of fans now, again. I used to be in the Blading School <laughs> when I was a kid. Like, you don't um, say. Yeah. Everyone yeah. knows that. It happened, it happened. But yeah, no, it's just been crazy since I've been out. It's been, it's, it's been amazing. And Busy. people stopping you all the time to get a selfie. Yep, yeah, selfies for days. I've done about a million. There'll um, be a million and one because I want one today. <laughs> and Lisa, I know you've been busy all summer. I follow you on social media. You lead such an exciting life. You do a lot of travelling, don't you? A lot you? of travelling, yes. I've been trying to see as much as, of the world as possible. Um, Japan was a highlight for me. It was just amazing. Travelling with my fiancé, George, and we just, yeah, just trying to see the world and just experience different cultures and different fashion and everything. And we must congratulate you on your engagement. Thank you, I was Denise. so pleased when I saw it on social media. I was like, yeah, she's Thank got engaged. You. Right, now let's talk about autumn. So how do you like to spend your weekend in the autumn? What do you get up to? Majority of the time, I'm usually out with friends, having a few drinks, maybe doing a few brunches, lunches. But like this, this, this autumn's going to be totally different because I'm, I'm doing a little bit of a tour, so it's going to be quite hectic for me. Again, Man in demand. Yep, I've been busy. Lisa, and what is a typical autumn weekend for you? Lots of socialising, family, friends, lots of cooking, maybe nice long walks, seeing all kind of seasons changing. Now, you're both very stylish people. Marcel, how has your look changed over the years? They used to wear a lot of baggy clothes, like big, really, really big clothes. <laughs> they probably wouldn't fit me now. So, like, I've kind of like started wearing a lot more fitted stuff. So, like, Fitted t-shirts, skinny jeans. So uh, a look that in the Blazing Squad, all the big baggy yeah. jackets and everything. Have you got any of your old outfits you used to wear on stage? Have you kept them? Do you know what? <laughs> I've, got <a> few, <laughs> I've got a few coats that I used to wear because because they I, I think they're quite valuable coats, but I, w I probably would not wear anything that I used to wear back in the days, no. <laughs> probably fit about 10 people inside Exactly. Yeah, you could, you put, could put, you the put the whole, whole band in there. there. The whole squad could fit one, one of my coats. <laughs> That's so funny. You know I mean? And Lisa, whenever I see pictures of you, and I always have thought that you look amazing, oh, you could wear so a bin good. liner and look good, well, but have you got any regrets? There's a few over the years. I think when you look back and, you know, you sort of, I don't know, different eras and different times and different fashions and trends, but um, that particular look with the orange flares and the, you know, sort of little crop denim jacket, the T-shirt was really tiny. The trousers aren't too bad, but it's with the shoes. It's the colour combination, I think, yeah. together that's a little bit bold, and I definitely wouldn't do that again. I don't know. I think you still look good. Do you wear it well. <laughs> now, Marcel, you mentioned that you ditch all the baggy clothes. Yeah. You're into something much more fitted these days. Is yeah. this the kind of look you would be wearing this autumn? This is definitely something I'll be wearing. Like, obviously, the T-shirt's nicely fitted around the arms. It's got a nice, like, texture to it as well. So, so if you get a close-up on it, you can get the nice definition in the, in the shades. And also, like, the, the, the material is really nice as well, so it's nice and light, and you can probably wear it out. So you could be in, be out, out in the daytime, and then go go into the nighttime and wearing the same outfit as well. Yeah, nice and details. also, yeah. it is really nice. And it's I think this is good as well because yeah. I wash a lot of t-shirts, and having this around the arm means that it won't go baggy, yeah, which is exactly. so annoying when you do a exactly. wash. Exactly. And then with, also with the jeans, the jeans, these ones, some black, black fade, like slightly faded detail. Them skinnies, they're not too skinny. That's that's the good thing. So you I'm can not, still move in yeah, them. Yeah, I oh, can you still can still move. Dance. You know, you, you, you can still get them, get a little bit of rhythm going on with them. You know what I mean? And then obviously I've got the low cut trainers to go with them because black low cuts you can wear. Them, you can go into bars because you know sometimes it's like a bit funny with like colour trainers and that kind of stuff. Black low tops. Smart. Yeah. So that is a really good look. Lisa, I love what you're wearing. Isn't it cute? It's I've quite got my eye on feminine that top. Feminine and girly, isn't it? So I'm going to stand up for you as well because Marcel just like set the bar there. So this is by Falma, which is, of course, is a Matalan brand. Top and jeans, both from Falma. And we've laid this over a camisole, but um, it just looks really cute. It's good quality. It's got this lovely crochet detail with all the cutouts and the stars, which I know you're a big fan of. Love stars. Good length sleeve. 
really flattering. And then the jeans are really comfortable. There's lots of stretch in there. They're a little bit cropped. So it looks really nice with this lovely little dusty pink sort of satin sandal with this really cool fray detail, which is just so cool and so on trend at the moment. Yeah, I think it's good in the autumn not to be afraid to still wear a crop jean. Yeah. Because, you know, we still get some good weather, don't we? And you can wear nice it's, shoes and experiment a little bit. It's not shoe. winter yet, is it? You can still, like, you've still got a few nice sort of like sunny days and lovely evenings. But I think this is perfect for a weekend my kind of weekend because it can go from lunch with the girls or brunch with the family to maybe going out. Like it. Yeah. Now, I hear what you're saying about going from day to night because that's what I always look for now in an outfit. Yeah. You don't always have time to go home and get changed, do you? Mm. You suddenly pulled out by someone to go and have dinner somewhere. And this is the perfect outfit for me. Now, I've already had this dress, this style dress, from a previous season. You may remember in Matadam we had the khaki one with the spots on it. Well, this is the other version of that with the, the floral design, which I really like, and it is my favourite dress. And really I've worn the other one a lot, so I'm going to wear this lot too. Um, and I like the fact that it's clinched in the waist, it's elasticated, so it's quite comfortable. Yeah. You've got the nice detail around the neck, that slight frill there. Also on the sleeves, three-quarter length, so you can still it. wear some nice bangles and jewellery as well. Yeah. And again, it's one of those dresses, it's such a good length that you can actually wear it with an ankle boot. So I thought I'd go for that slightly Western look because they're really in still. But equally, if I'm going for a night out and I want to take these off, I could wear your we shoes, Lisa. Shoes. We could do a shoe swap. Totally swap. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. I really like the shape on you. Thank you. Really I nice. really like it. It's one of my favourites. Right, thank you so much. Thank you. Still to come, the latest looks for your home this autumn. But next, high fashion looks at low prices. It's time to talk. Catwalk Trends. It's London Fashion Week, so to celebrate, we're taking a look at some trends that were on the catwalks earlier in the year and have now hit the shops. Joining me and my stylish friend Lisa Snowden for this week's Fashion Fix is model turned broadcaster Lila Parsons. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. Oh, it's a nice girly one. It's good to have so you here. Nice. Uh, right, so Lila, you started out as a model like Lisa. Yeah. Is that where you got the fashion bug? I think I actually had it before. I've always loved fashion. I love drawing. I love collecting fashion magazines. Even when I was like 12, and I actually went to art school and was studying fashion, and then I got scouted as a model. And so I kind of thought, hey, this is like the perfect door into the fashion world. And would you say that you've got a signature look? I think I've got basics that I stick to, but then I like to experiment as well. So day to day, I love my biker jacket. I love my trainers and jeans or a denim jacket and some, some pleather leather look trousers. And then for the evenings, I probably go a little bit more girly with like a dress and make, I love off the shoulder at the moment and, and a choker. I'm a big fan of love a choker. Love a choker. And then some strappy heels. Yeah, I've gone for a sort of choker tee today to still yeah. try and get that in. <laughs> get the choker in there somewhere. Now, you've both walked the catwalk. It must have been so much fun. What's it like? Fun. A lot of fun, but also quite scary. Really scary. There's a lot of adrenaline. It was always checking, going to the rail to check that the sizes were there that were going to fit you. So you get to your rail and you count how many times you're going to be going out, how many looks you've got, and then you look at the shoes and you try them on and you pray that they're going to fit you because anything that was too big, it, the fear that you're just going to fall over. And did it ever out. happen? It did, and I think I stumbled a few times. I don't know if you did. I never did, but I once wore the most terrifying heels at London Fashion Week that had, they were super high but had no actual heel. You just balanced on the front. Wow, yeah, how did that you was walk? Scary. And I was wearing a stuffed fake bird on my head at the same time. <laughs> so really, really wearable. Right, so you've mentioned that on the catwalk. It is very theatrical. Absolutely. But then everything sort of gets tapered down a little bit for yeah. the high street, More doesn't practical it? practical fashion. Yes. That's what I Things like. Things that we can wear. Yeah. So what are we wearing now? What are the big trends? Okay, so I've got three trends for you. One of my favourites is Heritage Czech. So this is all about taking those really authentic British traditional fabrics, like the knits and the tweeds, but then giving it a modern twist to make it wearable now. So so here with the lovely Chloe, what we've done is we've just chosen a hero piece, gone for a tweed-esque skirt, rather than like a full tweed outfit, which would be a bit like the Queen, God bless her. So we've mixed it up with a clashing print, the leopard print, which I think that you wouldn't like immediately imagine would work, but I love it and I think it looks really, really modern and fresh. Yeah. If I'm totally honest, if I saw these pieces individually on a route, I would never put them together yeah. in a million mm. years. But they really work, don't Really they? works. Yeah, it looks very cool. It looks kind of very sort of country chic, doesn't yeah. it? And then you've got the boots for winter and you can mix it with tights when it gets really cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So it's going to take you right through autumn, winter. And also because they're separate, you can mix and match as well with other outfits, yeah, can't you? To get so much matching. wear out of them. Right, so what's our next look? I was so excited about this. So this is Athleisure and it was all over the runways this season. And basically, guys, suddenly it is now totally fashionable and totally acceptable 
to wear your tracksuit out and about. <gasps> Hurrah! The celebs are doing it. Rita Ora really knows how to nail this look. And what gives it that kind of fashion edge and makes it look a bit more chic and a bit more luxe is the choice of fabrics. This is a really nice fabric. And then the dark maroon, it gives it that expensive feel. Yeah, you want to be comfortable, oh, don't you? Yeah. It's the best. You know, for me, it's having something you can wear on the school run and still manage to, like, you don't have to go and get changed. You can stay in it and go for lunch with your girlfriend. Oh, yeah. totally. Do Absolutely. you know what I mean? To be able to run around and do everything. Really practical and comfortable. But I think the fact that you've put the burgundy from head to toe, it just looks very chic and yes. cool, doesn't it? I think it that really gives does. it that kind of burgundy on burgundy, gives yeah. it that really luxe feel and then the little gold details. Mm. And the shoes as well. I have to say, just to highlight, they're actually really cool design, aren't yeah. they? I've definitely it. seen that style on the catwalk. Also, a good travel outfit, I would say. <gasps> Perfect, oh, really yes. comfortable. Very but, nice. But chic enough that, you know, you might just want to try and get upgraded. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> right, that's on my shopping list. Right, so that's very much a daytime look. But if I want to go somewhere and dress up a little bit, Lila, what am I looking at? OK, so this is perfect for you. It's about taking those summer, pretty, romantic florals and then kind of toughening them up a bit for winter. We've got the darker tones here and also the studded detailing, which is really on trend. That's all over the runway. And I just think she looks really cool. It's mm. that kind of romantic meets rock chick vibe. Love it. And it's so a really cool. light, isn't it? It's like a chiffon material. Do you know what I particularly like about this outfit? And it's a nice detail. It's just on the sleeves, you've got on the cuff there, you've got those nice bows, which make it even more feminine. Yeah. You know, because obviously you've got the studs, so that's kind of making it a little bit more uh, rock chick, isn't it? It's a it? good contrast. Yeah, really, really You could good. wear this with a biker jacket and then with some like clunky boots for the day and yeah. then these stilettos for the evening. You could always put it with some tights as well yeah. in the day. I would even, if I wanted to wear it in the winter, put a nice little... Um, turtleneck, like a black Ooh, good kind idea. of turtleneck, kind of sort of a 70s vibe. I love it. Really bit nice. of layering. And then you could put the tights and you could put the jacket and it was, you know, perfect for winter as well. So that'll see you right through autumn, winter. Absolutely. Lovely. Also, so, heel, biker boots. Yeah. yeah. Also the shape, is that's such a flattering so kind flattering. of that fit and flare, skimming the hips. It suits all girls. I love True. it. True. Really when you start in those winter foods and mm. you just want to be bit nice and relaxed. Bit more space <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the outfit. Lovely. Thank you so much, girls. Next up, how to make simple changes to your house this autumn that will make a big impact. It's time for Make Your House a Home. It's not just your wardrobe that's good to update this time of year. It's also the perfect time to refresh interiors. And little changes can make a big difference. Here to tell us more is Ideal Homes' Tamara Kelly. Welcome to the show. Hi. Right, so how can we update our homes and how important is it to do it at this time of year? I think it's important to update your home um, because we live differently at different times and that should reflect in your home decor. And it's about changing how you live so you create a calming, sort of tranquil environment, sort of recharge your batteries after a busy summer. Yeah, and to reflect your mood with the change of exactly, season. So you yeah. put all your, like, fluoro pineapples and yeah. palm prints away. Into storage, yeah. <laughs> Don't get rid of them. Just and storage. calm everything down. <laughs> exactly. And Lisa, is the look of your home important to you? It's so important, it really is. It's really interesting, though, because mm. I really want to make a few little changes and to make it a bit more calm. And you don't have to completely redecorate your home. You can just make simple changes. That's the nice thing. The little changes can make a really big impact. I think it's important to think about, first of all, your colour palette. So summer was really vibrant, tropical, bright. That might be too much for this time of year. And the colour palette now is more serene. We've got a lot of desaturated colours. It's like dusty pinks, watery blues, faded greens, nice. sort of more earthy, chalky tones that instantly make you feel calmer anyway. Mm -hmm. But they mix in really nicely with key pieces you may have. So this throw is a great example because we've got the new dusty pink. It's got grey in there. It's a soft geometric, which we saw in summer, so it's quite a nice sort of transition into a new season without making too much of a change in what yeah, you may so already this, have. Yeah, so this is a throw. You could put this on a sofa, you can yeah. have it on a bed. Exactly. As modelled by the lovely Lisa oh, Snowden. There we go. <laughs> Get cosy with me. It feels <laughs> just so luxurious, yeah. doesn't it? Metallics as well, when we're talking about colour, they're still there, they're not going anywhere, but talking about this cushion where it's sort of um, mm. matte, but... This is what I love about Great. Right. So that yeah, looks like well. a designer piece, yeah, really but an affordable that. price. That and look great on any sofa. That really it. would jazz up a sofa. Yeah, oh, hugely. That. Make a really big impact. And again, it's just a small thing. It's a cushion. Yeah, it's really love it. Nice, really nice. Stop doing that to you can't no. stop touching it. We're <laughs> like talking about tactile textures. <laughs> Let's talk textures then. What yeah. are the big trends? Well, textures actually play as a key role as colour this season. And that's one of the nice things. I think it's about appealing to the senses and just 
everything being having that layer of extra quality to it you know it's that real sort of you want to touch it you want to mm. feel it and so something like this for instance a double-sided mohair is brilliant i mean that you just instantly want to cuddle that and it's yeah. really got a nice warming quality that's a bit of you that look, is right so here. me you got it i, I mean that <laughs> might have to come home with me that is amazing <laughs> So these are the soft textures. What so about that, hard textures? Yeah, so don't forget the hard textures because often it's the, the little things that you can do to change an entire room. So we've got, you know, like the glass, the vases, we've got candle holders, all like glazed glass. Again, it's just that thing of just adding another layer of pattern and texture. A yeah. nice frosted finish, which is nice, creates a nice yeah. atmosphere. And, and I, I love a candle. Do you love a candle, Lisa? It's so important. Yeah. Love candles. The smell, the lighting, the ambience that it creates. Yeah. It's gentle, it's flattering. It's very flattering. Mm -hmm. You can look as rough as hell, can't you, after a day's work, but you light a candle. You think, I actually look all right. Yeah, you're glowing in this. Keep like, the lights off. Dark. Exactly. Candle hold and all the impact that's doing. Fantastic. Okay, fabulous. And then uh, talking of lighting and setting the mood, I'm really excited about this. This is a bit of a, a new thing for us, isn't it? A new venture, lighting. It's really exciting because Matalan are for the first time launching lighting. They've got four new ranges, all available online, and there's literally, from the ceiling to floor lamps, there's a style to suit every home. A great example is the, the table lamp on the end there. So that goes in nicely with this trend we're talking about because it's got the mottled glass effect. It's quite watery, it's quite serene. It's just such a nice piece. You could have that in a hallway, a living room, a bedroom even. It's got a sort of slightly vintage feel, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. The base, but with a really sort of nice modern With a contemporary shade. change, yeah. It's yeah. really, really nice. Really, yes. really nice. That's a really lovely table lamp. Yeah, so that's a kind of traditional element, and but they've also got the modern, which we've got the, the cinematic tripod lamp, which is a statement piece. And looks very designer. I mean, yeah, and that's just going to command attention in any corner of the room, isn't it? It's just, it's so wow factor. Mm, I think that's really really nice. a wish list. Now, it's not just the living room that can be easily updated. We sent tomorrow out to show us how making simple changes can make a big difference throughout the whole house. I'm Tamara Kelly from Ideal Home, and I'm going to show you how to make small changes throughout your home to create a whole new look for autumn. Start by swapping summer brights for a cooler, calming colour palette. In the kitchen, a simple way to do this is by displaying crisp white crockery. Team with woods, greys and glass to accentuate the look. A gently frosted look works perfectly in the dining room. Dress a table with a statement runner and tie in napkins and placemats in a complementary colour. Create a luxurious and sophisticated feel by adding glassware with honeycomb metallic detailing. Tableware with embossed textured designs adds depth to the crisp look. Display key glass accessories throughout the room that will make an impression. Upstairs, the calming colour palette creates an air of relaxing serenity that will encourage a good night's sleep. Appliqued sequin bed linen creates a glamorous, chic look. Layering up different textures and throws and cushions will ensure you have an atmosphere that's snug, cosy and warm. As simple as that, you've transformed your home for a brand new season. And as featured right there, we've got it here, this fantastic vase, which is great on a coffee table. Yeah, got the etching and it's got a nice iridescent finish, that kind of watery yes. thing, it's that serene. There's more to it than meets the eye, exactly. really, isn't it? It's like really lovely want. texture and then the iridescent. Adding extra quality to Very just pretty. the vase. Lovely, on the shopping list. <laughs> Another thing, the list is getting long. <laughs> thank you, Tamara, thank you so much, Lisa. Thank Loved you. having you here. That's it for now. Be sure to tune in next time when I'll be chatting about the secret of happiness with Loose Women's Andrew McLean, Pop star to MasterChef Rachel Stevens will be sharing her style secrets and we'll have a guide to winter chic for both your wardrobe and your home. Bye for now. Let's get cosy. <laughs>